Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a bit of a special one. It covers our trip at Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Park. And specifically, you're gonna see footage from around the park in six different trails. Morro Rock Trail, Crescent Meadow Loop, Big Trees Trail, Congress Trail, Tacopa Falls, and Little Baldy Trail. You're gonna see a lot of footage on these trails, but I do wanna note that each one of these trails will have its individual video. So I'm not gonna give too much of a description on them in this particular video. This video should be treated more like a vlog. So you'll see a lot of the park in the video, and then afterwards I'll talk about a little bit about where we stayed and some recommendations on where you could look to stay. And overall, our experience at the park. So I hope you enjoy it. It's a bit of a longer one than usual, but it's beautiful, beautiful scenery. Uh, and honestly, again, I really hope you guys enjoy it as much as I enjoyed editing and creating this for you.
When I entered the sublime wilderness, the day was nearly done. The trees with rosy glowing countenances seemed to be hushed and thoughtful, as if waiting in conscious religious dependence on the sun, and one naturally walked softly, an awe-stricken among them. May you follow in Muir's footsteps. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Man, it makes me wanna go back already. As I mentioned before the B-roll started, let's talk a little bit about travel. There are multiple ways you can go to Sequoia in Kings Canyon National Park. You can go through the south entrance the way that we did, or you can go through the north entrance, which is more around the Kings Canyon, and it is noted differently that it's the Sequoia National Forest. So you can see along the line here. As I mentioned, we entered through the south entrance. We were staying in a cabin that was literally about 45 seconds from the entrance of the park, and it was great. The reason to pay a little bit of a steeper price for that, if you can do it, is that you don't have to wait the long line to go into the park. Both days we were there, by 9 a.m. there was a line out the park. So if you're one of those people that likes to wake up a little bit late, have some breakfast, then go, you may be waiting for well over an hour at the very end of the line to get into the park. If you stay in a cabin close by, you just have to make sure you speak with somebody who let you sort of come through and then you, you're a few minutes from the entrance. Now I do want to recommend that if you have a group and you want to find somewhere to stay still at a lodge, I saw some of the places around Wuxaki Lodge and I checked with them and they look gorgeous and it would be an absolute beautiful, beautiful place to stay. A lot of the hikes would be about 30 minutes or most from there south and there's also a lot of really nice area to explore north of that as you get into the Sequoia National Forest. Right now during COVID-19, the Wuxaki Lodge is the one that's open and there is food for outside dining only. So keep that in mind if you are going anytime soon. The Lodgeville Visitor Center in Village, which is where I've normally gone to, is closed, so you cannot go there. As you're traveling through, make sure you put gas in Three Rivers. It is windy, it is a pill, it might need more gas than you think. However, I do wanna note that at Stony Creek Village, there is a gas station there, so you can also fuel up there. And I don't know the miles from the south entrance to that at the top of my head, so I will put it in the video right here. Apart from that, the really last tip I'll give you is to stick to the northern part of the park. Near the south entrance, you have Morro Rock Trail, which is beautiful, and then you have Congress Trail, which we also really enjoyed, and they're just very crowded. Morro Rock Trail is half a mile. If you do one of the trails, it's just at the very end, just for the views. Very, very crowded. If you want to avoid that, that may not be the right trail for you. And Congress Trail starts at the same place as General Sherman, so you get a lot of people parking and going and it's a short half a mile to General Sherman so everyone wants to go and take pictures there. So there's something to be aware of. The two hikes that I would recommend definitely check out when you're there, Tacopa Falls and Little Baldwin. Tacopa Falls had such a beautiful, beautiful variety of what you saw on the trail. Forest, it almost felt a little bit desert at times. All the rocks at the end with the waterfall, you're hiking next to a river and you hear it the whole time. It is incredibly relaxing. And it was the longest hike we did, but it was still under five miles. Little Baldy is 1.7 miles one way, so 3.4 round trip. And at the top, you have these 360 degree views that I will cover in its own video. And it is astonishing, the views from up there. It is so, so beautiful. It is 8,000 feet up. The last thing I'll leave you guys with is camping at the Lodgepool Visitor Center, where it says River Tacopa Falls. Along that river there was a lot of campsites and people setting up their tents and their cars and it looked absolutely beautiful, beautiful to camp there. You're right next to the river, you can take a dip in it. It just looked like an awesome place to set up camp, enjoy the river, enjoy the nighttime with the stars and the water flowing by. If you can book a camping trip there, highly, highly recommend. Guys, if you have any other questions about Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon National Park, make sure you drop them in a comment down below and be on the lookout for six individual videos on the trails that you saw in this video and that I talked about. They will not be posted on my Instagram, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified when they get released. With that said, make sure you check out my Instagram at Beauty is Wild, two eyes, the YouTube channel at Beauty is Wild with two eyes, and the website at Beauty is Wild with two eyes.com. I'll see you guys soon. Does anybody else collect these? <laughs>